pretty as I'll ever be. Lady Aphrodite. You've had a brush with Megara the Fury, haven't you? Oh, I know a thing or two about that one. Though lately we Olympians no longer mingle with those living in the underworld. You're the only exception. Heartbreak time. Blade grows stronger. Gemstones. Uncle Poseidon, it's been excellent to know you, sir, so please, this is for you. Oh, I am positively moved by your affection, little nephew. I thank you, Uncle. Oh, 
So you've already heard from Aphrodite, have you, nephew? Understandable. But first things first, now let me add a little something to all that. Ocean's Fury. Should fetch me something good back home. Mine now. A place of calm and respite. And not a moment too soon. Oh. To my health, although I'm full. Somewhere, man. I understand you made it up to Asphodel before. Now that is progress. Keep it up. You keep on going, yeah? Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus. They basically turn into big crystals.
take care of. If there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. Greetings, fellow human of death and self. I knew that foul potent would come through and you would find amongst his wares this gift. you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. Should be useful. Let's think about this. soon, Bone Hydra. here for you should make your battles to the death end that much quicker.
a blessing. busy lately thanks to me soon pay your enemies in kind. The will to fight. Let's get out of here.
Yum. Always a pleasure, Charon. Nephew, strewn among the inventories of that most disturbing river boatman. I'll just take that. Here's the fee. Trust you had a pleasant stay in Asphodel. You really need to turn down the heat in that place. Long way from home. Thank you. The fields of Elysium. The rare, heavenly splendors of Elysium reserved for only the most great of mortal souls, spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire-stepping prince. Luxuriantly? Really? Bright swords. Is that? 
him. Showed that stupid Hydra, at least. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um... Good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hope House. I should check in with the house contractor. Be strong. Achilles, have you ever run across the Shade of Daedalus in all your time? I found some of his legendary hammers out there, but no sign of him. I've never met him, no. Your father keeps him fully occupied with building out his underworld and renovating constantly. No wonder some of his old crafting tools are strewn about. Indeed I have. Call my chambers a mess. Look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Stuck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute a sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. Contractor, mind locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance? In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. Oh, um, hello. Ah, Orpheus.
Oh, hello, Zagreus. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Orpheus, you're back. Look, don't get on father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. You keep an eye on father for me, boy. Cerberus promises to do exactly that, in his own way. You've always been there for me, boy. Permit the dog is rest. Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. Leave me alone. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Anything good? Must be someplace else. I want to go lie down. That's one prophecy out of the way. Tartarus is gloomy enough without Orpheus in it. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the Prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand.
His mother's hand. My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone that she's my mother? But but father always said that Nyx was m that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nyx, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Once in a while, pal, you're gonna see a real fancy bozo try to ruin your good time. You'll know him because he's glowing like a light. But that's his special armor, see? You gotta punch right through it. He's gonna shrug you off until you do. For a good time, beware the fancy glowing bozos on my quest. Check. It's sealed shut. The courtyard of the House of Hades is kept neat and orderly. It's not that orderly, really. That one looks interesting. Betting Prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies, but it was preordained. Oh no, not this determinism thing again. Let's see. My power grows. Anyways, 